Hello guys, this is Daryl Whitman with Destination WVF TV. Thank you for watching. November is here and we're gearing up for Thanksgiving later this month. While giving thanks, let's not forget about the cruising industry. In this video, we give thanks to the cruising industry in 2024 for providing us with the largest cruise ship in the world, Icon of the Seas. Let's talk about it. Icon of the Seas is owned by Royal Caribbean International. It was built at Meyer Turku in Finland. Her maiden voyage was January 27, 2024 from Port Miami. The ship has 20 decks and 2,805 staterooms. It accommodates 5,610 guests based on double occupancy and it has an international crew of 2,350. The ship weighs 248,663 gross tons. It measures 1196 feet long and 219 feet wide with a 29 foot draft. The icon of icons as they call it, or the godfather as I call it, is the soccer or football, depending on where you're from, superstar Lionel Messi. The ship by all measurements is massive and certainly is well qualified as the largest ship in the world. But it's more than just big, it's also beautiful and it boasts some of the most unique features of any ship in the world. Let's start with the Pearl. It's a structure that greets you as you enter the ship. It's certainly unique and one of a kind, something you won't see on any other ship in the world. It's the world's largest kinetic art sculpture. The 15 meter high sculpture and 3000 kinetic tiles are the heartbeat of the icon. They simulate various natural phenomena such as rolling waves, gentle breezes, shooting stars, and the dynamic ocean surface. The Pearl is a sight to behold. Next, let's head out to Royal Bay. Royal Bay is the largest pool at sea, something you might expect on the largest cruise ship in the world. Filled with over 40,000 gallons of water, the pool has been designed with in-water loungers to accommodate plenty of chill seekers plus two elevated whirlpools that yield prime views of all the action below. Let's not stop there. A favorite for adults is the hideaway. The hideaway is for cruise guests 18 years and older and is located in the very aft or back of the ship on deck 15. The star of the space of course is the pool, which is the first ever suspended infinity pool at sea. But wait, there is more. My favorite area of the ship is the overlook in the Aquadome, offering uninterrupted and unprecedented panoramic views of the ocean and sky. This new venue immerses guests in the surrounding nature like never before. Overlook's captivating coral theme design creates an inviting space for lounging and relaxation with custom designed furniture. The venue goes beyond the ordinary with the virtual aquarium seamlessly extending into the show theater creating an immersive visual experience for patrons. Listen, there are a plethora of other unique features on Icon of the Seas, and we're not going to cover them all here. But one last venue I'd like to cover is a new venue on Royal Caribbean called Lou's Jazz and Blues. With music and cocktails inspired by New Orleans and New York, the new Lou's Jazz and Blues on Icon of the Seas is located in the open air Central Park neighborhood. Vacationers can enjoy live performances of jazz, pop, and soulful classics at a table for two or while strolling in the park. I didn't mention it earlier, but me and my wife cruised on Icon of the Seas in June. I can attest to the fact that this ship is certainly way beyond any cruise ship we've ever sailed on. So, in this month of Thanksgiving, we give thanks to the cruise industry and Royal Caribbean specifically for providing us with the largest cruise ship in the world in 2024. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing with us before you go. We'd love to have you as part of our growing family. When subscribing, remember to hit that notification bell too. Thank you again, goodbye, and God bless. This is Daryl Whitman. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe 
and we'll see you on the next episode of Destination WVF-TV.